over a decade, St. Andrew's Church of Uganda in Bukoto has been under construction. With its unique and imposing design, this church, with a seating capacity of over 2,000 people, has cost a total of 6 billion Uganda shillings for it to reach completion. For the Christians who call this church home, it was a dream come true as they came to witness its grand opening by the outgoing Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Stan Tagali, together with the Archbishop-elect, Dr. Samuel Kazimba Mugalu. Now it is my joy and pleasure to open this church, St. Andrew's Church, Bukoto, in the name of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Inside the church, Archbishop Ntagali consecrated the church's various assets amid elation and jubilation from the congregation. In his remarks, outgoing Archbishop Stanley Ntagali expressed joy that this church has finally been completed. Ntagali observed that for so long, the Anglican church had become notorious for failing to complete major building projects. Many times people have been laughing at us that we don't finish things, but this is a great testimony that we can finish. However, for the strength to be maintained, Archbishop-elect Dr. Samuel Kazimba Mgalu has noted that it will be up to the Christians to continue contributing to the work of the church. When you give to church services, do it generously because that is what you have in the future. And when you give, don't complain. We are tired of giving. We are tired of giving. However, Kazimba has also urged Christians to support churches that are in rural areas instead of concentrating on the ones in urban areas. For those who feel tired of giving to the church, Kazimba had a special message as well. If you are tired of giving, you are tired of serving, then we, we should have one day for a special prayer for people to go and meet the Lord Jesus. State Minister for Finance David Bahati has also called upon Christians to assist government in combating poverty and corruption in the country. We can pray another Lord of looking after the poor and, and also doing what we are supposed to be doing. We sometimes wonder where is this corruption coming from? Because all of us are saying we are Christians. Where is this corruption coming from? Chairperson of the building committee, James Wasula, noted that it has taken dedication and patience for this church to reach completion. Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition.